Hi, this is Dr. Dan with the Medical School Podcast. In this episode, I'll be talking to you about the MCAT myth, taken from an article in Science Magazine, uh, sciencemag.org. It's volume 319 from January 2008. What this paper is, is an application of Bloom's ta uh, taxonomy that debunks the MCAT myth. So uh, this is an important foundation for a lot of the pre-med coaching that I do. So I wanted to dedicate a short piece on this. What I'm calling uh, the MCAT myth, and the literature refers to it, is the idea that uh, the MCAT tests wrote memorization only. Okay, and so what they did was they randomly picked a bunch of questions, uh, primarily from biology section of the MCAT and um, different GRE type questions and they had five different uh, assessors assign a Bloom's taxonomy method. If you don't know uh, what Bloom's taxonomy is, it is basically a learning theory that's used um, for many years now, but it's a learning theory from the earliest of childhood development all the way through um, the adult you know, development of the brain and thinking and learning. And so there's all different kinds of learning styles involved with this. And so what they're saying is that Bloom's taxonomy, um, when applied to the MCAT, they tried to assign a Bloom's taxonomy rating to real MCAT questions to see uh, on a scientific, you know, third-party, objective, uh, balanced way, what are these test questions on the MCAT actually, te you know, testing for? And they debunk the MCAT myth there. And, and let me just read you a sentence here to clarify exactly what they're trying to say. Part of the solution may lie in dispelling the MCAT myth, quote, freeing introductory biology instructors to assess at a higher level by uh, convincing them that the MCAT tests are more factual, uh, are more than factual recall. Notice that they emphasize convincing biology instructors in the United States. So in other words, instructors galore out there in the undergraduate world don't understand this thing. And I think that's so often the problem when uh, a pre-med student goes to find a review book. They've got to find the biggest, most comprehensive book in the world because all their uh, thinking is ingrained to think it's got to be volume, volume, volume. And that's not true. I've been saying this for years. I've been pre-med advising for five years. Dr. Ferdinand, who wrote the Gold Standard MCAT, has been doing it since, um, hmm, gosh, I can't remember. Well, put it this way, his Gold Standard MCAT book is in its 16th edition. So he's been doing it for a long time. Um, we both say the same thing. It's just nice to have some data to back up what you're talking about. So this paper objectively uh, you know, debunks the MCAT myth. So if you are interested in getting a link so you can read this paper yourself and see how they used a mathematical model to, to prove this, uh, then go to medicalmastermindcommunity.com and become a member.